Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about tuberculosis. Number one, some bacteria that cause tuberculosis are becoming resistant to drugs used to fight tuberculosis. When this happens, the condition progresses to what we call drug-resistant tuberculosis. Drug-resistant tuberculosis requires new drugs that are often more toxic and ineffective than the traditional drugs. New drugs are also more expensive. Luckily, drug-resistant tuberculosis is uncommon and usually only happens when treatment is delayed or inconsistent, or when someone who's already been treated develops tuberculosis for a second time. Number two, there are two kinds of tuberculosis, latent tuberculosis infection and active tuberculosis disease. Latent tuberculosis infection is not contagious and is essentially a dormant form of active tuberculosis disease. Active tuberculosis disease is what we generally think of when we hear about tuberculosis. It's contagious, dangerous, and must be treated to avoid serious complications. Often, someone will get latent tuberculosis infection before developing active tuberculosis disease. Number three, unlike most illnesses, tuberculosis can be cured. The first cure was discovered by a graduate student named Albert Schatz in 1943, and several other treatment options have been discovered since. Usually, a combination of different medications are used to treat tuberculosis. The medications used are generally based on elements of the individual case, including severity, cause, and whether or not the bacteria is drug-resistant. Number four, tuberculosis is contagious. Most often, the disease is spread through the air when patients cough, sneeze, or speak. Germs can stay alive in the air for hours, so it's important to take precautions when you're around someone who has tuberculosis. Number five, tuberculosis is more common than you might think. According to one study, one third of the worldwide population will develop at least latent tuberculosis infection, and more than 10% of those infected will go on to develop active tuberculosis disease. Number six, tuberculosis can be life-threatening if not treated. It's currently one of the top 10 causes of death worldwide, and most cases resulting in death occur in developing countries, although death from tuberculosis happens everywhere. Number seven, HIV is a significant risk factor for developing tuberculosis. The likelihood of developing active tuberculosis disease when infected is much higher for those with HIV because of their weak immune systems. Because of this, tuberculosis is the leading cause of death for people with HIV. If death does not occur, complications are more likely, and some tuberculosis treatments are not suitable for use with HIV. Number eight, smoking dramatically increases your likelihood of developing tuberculosis. Because tuberculosis most often infects the lungs, anything that affects the way your lungs function can lead to the condition. Other risk factors include drinking, diabetes, and specific medications like corticosteroids. Number nine, a vaccine exists. In a study of young students, 20% immunity occurred after being vaccinated. For those who developed latent tuberculosis infection later on, only 40% of the expected number went on to develop active tuberculosis disease. Number 10, coughing up blood is a common symptom. As horrible as it sounds, having a persistent bloody cough can tip you off that you might be dealing with tuberculosis. Because tuberculosis is a respiratory condition, it can cause issues in the airway or lungs that can cause blood to be present in the mucus, which can be dangerous. If a bloody cough exists, you should seek medical care immediately. I hope you enjoyed that video. Have you had experiences with tuberculosis? Tell us about it in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Thanks for watching.